Coast now storm tracker weather. Coverage you can count on. High temperatures this afternoon are in and seasonably hot. 101 in Reading, 96 in Chico, 99 in Red Bluff. These are very close to about average for this time of the year. 97 in Cording, 98 in Oroville today, 97s in Wooverville and Hayfork. Ah, there's where you got to go if you want to cool off. Coastline in the mid 60s today. However, we got to 92 this afternoon in Chester. And that doesn't tell the whole story. Let's take a live look outside. We'll use our Bloomer Hill camera on looking down at Lake Oroville. And Boy, the smoke and the haze continues. Boy, you can barely see Lake Oroville just kind of shining on through. Normally, it, it stands out beautiful, crystal clear, and you can almost see some boats out there. But this time around, boy, you can have trouble picking out the lake. And forget about the valley off of the background. It's just way too smoky and hazy for that. Air quality remains generally unhealthy or unhealthy for sensitive lung types. And that means just... Try to limit your outdoor exposure uh, if you're starting to feel it a little bit in your lungs because uh, we're breathing a lot, of, a lot of smoke in these days, unfortunately. As far as uh, what we have coming our way, well, fire, uh, fire weather watches are back up in a few spots. First off, let's talk about this one, the red flag warning that goes through uh, 11 o'clock tonight here in Modoc County and eastern Lassen County. A lot of sagebrush out here, but because of some gusty winds out there in this uh, high desert area, the red flag warning has been issued uh, until about 11 o'clock tonight. Probably a little bigger concern is the fire weather watch, which has been issued for Thursday night through Friday and into Saturday night for this area here, mainly the foothills of Shasta County, Tehama County, and Glen County, and that does include the car fire lines for uh, that specific time frame. The primary concern, again, gusty winds coming our way. Got a little disturbance, which is gonna cool our temperatures down. That sounds nice, but it's also gonna kick up the winds in the higher elevations. The valley, we won't see much wind, but the mountains will. Here's what's coming our way tomorrow. Not a bad day, 75 at 8 in the morning, 88 at noontime, 95 at noontime. Smoke and haze, that does continue, unfortunately, and that's going to continue for the foreseeable future. Lots in the valley. There's the Mendocino complex. There's the car fire. Both are groups putting out fire or putting out smoke into the valley here, and as long as they continue to burn, we continue to breathe in all that smoke and haze, and that's going to continue definitely for tomorrow. High temperatures tomorrow, upper 80s to low and mid 90s here in Trinity and Siskiyou counties. Low to mid 90s here in the Sierra and the Cascades and the Whaleback Fire, putting out a lot of smoke and haze, I would imagine, in Lassen County and around Susanville as well. On the ridge, look for our smoky skies to continue here. High temperatures in the low and mid 90s, 94 for high temperature in Paradise tomorrow. Smoky skies in the north end of the valley low tonight. Low temperatures around 70. Tomorrow, 99 in Red Bluff and 100 in Redding. Smoky skies tonight in the mid valley as well. Watch for the moon around midnight or so. It'll be that blood orange, a red color that it's been the past few nights. Tomorrow, high temperatures, middle 90s for most of this region. Finally, your Storm Tracker 7 day forecast with the weekend is always in view, cooling us down as we get to the weekend. That does sound very nice around 90 Saturday or Sunday. We'll watch for the fire danger as that happens because uh, that will kick up the breezes there in the higher elevations somewhat. Reading's forecast finally dropping out of the triple digits here by Friday and over the weekend, highs only in the middle 90s. That sounds nice. A little drop will be uh, do us all well. Yeah. All right, Chris, thank you. Yeah. Well, Action News Now is participating in the Car Fire Relief Fund with United Way and Tri Counties Bank. There are two ways you can donate. You can go into any Tri Counties Bank location or you can visit their GoFundMe page. Let's